Hi, this is State Senator Tony Huang. On this Memorial Day weekend, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the incredible sacrifices, in fact, the ultimate sacrifices of those American heroes that gave their lives through military service and the Gold Star families that, that struggle every day with their loss, along with our military veterans present and retired. Uh, it is important to recognize that in these COVID pandemic days of uncertainty and fear, it is important for us to remember and pay our respects and remember the values of our soldiers and what that means. It truly means that it is service above self. Protecting our country and the greater good is so important and it's even more important than ever right now as we need to be considerate of all of those around us for the greater good. I want to cite two recent examples of individuals that made an impression on me. We have a 97-year-old Ed Crowley Sr. who just passed away in the past years. He was a World War II veteran and participated in the Battle of the Bulge on D-Day, but an individual that has been a stalwart and a, and, a, and a friend to his neighborhood and community. And we also have 28-year-old Jake Pettit. Jake served in Afghanistan and succumbed to the trauma and the experience of PTSD from war and, and the tragedies of, of that trauma. But while struggling with PTSD, Jake helped others that suffer such similar experiences. It is a remarkable sense of, of sacrifice and support to recognize that those that struggle together can help each other. And isn't that an appropriate theme as we go through this pandemic, that we all need to stand together. So on this Memorial Day, it is important for us to show our respects and honor those that have come before us and made those sacrifices. As John F. Kennedy said, as we utter the words of appreciation, we must do more and live and act upon those words every single day. So I ask of you, pay our respects, honor those soldiers before us and into the future, and God bless America. Hi, Tony. Hi. So in Hanson's Flower Shop saw that nobody ordered new wreaths for this year's memorial with all the ceremonies being reduced. We didn't want to leave this old wreath. So we decided just on our own to bring over some fresh flowers um, so they can be here because we think people probably are going to stop by and pay oh, their respects. And thank you so we much. something that represents Fairfield and represents our hometown a little better than the old wreath. So I want to leave these here. Um, it's remembering our fallen. I got all the branches of the military on there. So we're going to leave this for now and then at no charge to the town or anybody, we're going to revamp. It's absolutely beautiful and thanks to Hanson for thinking of our veterans and, and, and uh, the intent and purpose of Memorial Day. Yep. And, and as we struggle through this COVID pandemic, as I said earlier, the identification of service above self, recognizing that we're all in this together and that these efforts make a, a world of difference to people. And, and you know, when you talk about the Memorial Day loss of loved ones and the Gold Star families, I know this effort means the world to them for us to respect and honor their commitment and service to our country. Right, and p during the pandemic, things have been so different, but people can still take comfort in some of the things that we've always done, and sending flowers is one of them. And we are lucky being under the umbrella of agriculture that we've been able to operate right along and really be there for the community. People couldn't have their, their Easter services. They couldn't have their Passover Seder. They can't have their big Memorial Day technique. But you know what? We're here and we have some flowers and we can continue to honor. Thank you so much. I would love to hold okay. that. Thank you. Hold that.